Okay, hello everyone. It is obviously Rylan here. I am in Texas for the weekend. Um, we just went and saw Taylor Swift yesterday, and today I decided I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair. So obviously I have thick little bob going on right now, and it's pretty short. I've been spending a lot of time learning how to style my hair the right like way that I want it to look, and I finally feel like I've gotten it down to perfection. So my hair is pretty dry. I got it wet this morning but I'm gonna go over it with a spray bottle because I want it to wet for this first part. Just damp enough, especially on my hair. I have these curtain bangs. You want those to be pretty wet. Now that she's all wet, I'm gonna take the blow dry brush by Heritage and I'm gonna put this thing up on high. It's gonna be loud. Okay, then I take up by my bangs on the middle part. Let me grab on the right and I twist backwards. Mostly the focus with the brush is on the bank. So you want to get this nice little swoop right here. This is going to be perfect for when you add your curls. So then I just tuck that by my ear. I that kind of set and do the other side. Okay, then once it's all pretty much full dried, you're going to grab your Heritage 2-in-1. Then you're going to plug this in. I don't keep this on my hair very long, so I'm going to put it in at 420 and let this heat up. I usually keep the fan on for the cool shot because I like to curl my hair with that. I feel like it holds better, but it's up to you. First thing I do is I put half of my hair up. Oh, maybe more like a third. I take this top layer and I put her up into a little ponytail or button. Doesn't really matter, but I just do this middle layer first. Okay, once this is warm and going, we're gonna take about an inch section on the front, or I don't know, what is it? Three inches, I don't know, but it's pretty small. And I'm just gonna clamp, twist away from my face, do about a half turn, and then pull off so that I get this very minimal curl right there. I'm gonna go into the other parts of my hair, and I'll take smaller sections and do the same turn. Half turn, and then pull straight down. And I do this on all of my hair to get these little curls. This section doesn't matter as much about like how well they're turning out because it's the bottom layer, but I still try my best to have them away similarly. Then once I feel like I have enough curl on this side, I'm just gonna take it and straighten like the last inch of my hair so that it always flat. And then I go through again and see if there's anything I want to curl. But once that's done, I just go onto the next side, on this side, and repeat the same thing. Grab that first section, clamper, half turn, pull off. I change the direction from sides. So like on this side, I turn the thing to the left, I think. I, whatever it is, it's always away from your face because we do not want these to curl in. That's like the number one rule. So just turn away, pull off on the bottoms, and then I just do this all the way around the entire back of my head. And honestly, I don't really know like feel very well on the back of my head. I just pull sections and just curl them until I feel like it's done. Then same thing straighten the last little bottoms. I also try to straighten some of this under layer that I didn't curl, that's like right on my neck. Then you're gonna pull down your top layer. I have thick hair and I can do mine in two. I don't know, some people might wanna do three, but usually three is enough for most people's hair. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna stay away from my bangs, so I'm just gonna kinda pull that to the front, because I want that to just stay curled the way it is, so. The rest, I'm just gonna curl like normal. Take about a pencil width piece of hair, and I just curl these backwards away from my face again. Depending on how long your hair is, you can actually pull off twice. So you can go like this, wrap, pull, wrap, pull, and that's gonna give you two curls. Um, I like to do a little bit of both. The longer your hair is, the more times you can pull off. So you can actually do this on really long hair too. I just prefer on my hair to only have one. Um, for the most part, since it's so short. I try to add a little bit of variation on like where I curl. So like on this one, I'll curl more up at the top. Oh, hello! There's a puppy here! Hi, Mimi! Give me a bubble! 
I usually do not curl any of them forwards, which I know is kind of like controversial in my like hair world. Once one side is done and I like the way it's all sitting, I'm just gonna throw my hand through it a little bit. I like to straighten on the ends again. And I'm gonna take this bang. Sometimes I don't have to do this depending on how it curls, but I'll just lightly pull it back. So that way when I put my hand through it, it catches and it gives me that nice width. That is what I really want. Sometimes I have to hit it with a straightener, sometimes I don't. And then that side is done. Okay, once I feel like this side is done, I move on to the back, which I've already kind of started. With the back, you really just have to like reach behind and just pull the random little pieces of hair. And then just hope, you know, you're curling it the same way. Then I go back through and just kind of touch up anything I feel like would fall or doesn't look all the way right. And then I re straighten those ends. Then I'm gonna take this hammer and I look behind me and just triple check that everything looks curled. So like obviously right here I'm missing some. So then I'm gonna go back through. And then one more time, we go through. Looks good. So that is how I curl my hair. You can see my bangs are swooping in and my ends are all straight. This is like one of my favorite hairstyles. Just it's so easy, so quick. Literally, I think that probably took me maybe 10 minutes, like not even. Um, if something doesn't sit the way you like, you can literally just touch it up so fast. It's like this piece right here. Don't love the way it's not hooking. Yeah, fixed. Yeah, this is so cute. It looks cute tucked behind the ears. It looks cute if you pull it up. It's just the easiest for short hair. I prefer my hair to be straight on the ends. If you don't, then like you can not straighten them, obviously. That's totally like interpretive. So that is how I do my hair. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that this was helpful for all you guys with short hair or even long hair. I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, it definitely like settles a little bit. So it's kind of crazy right now but it will kind of calm down in just a minute. So that is how I do my hair. Thanks for watching.